No, he's in good form, you know, we've been, been happy with him. He's uh, also obviously is, uh, raced very well last year, raced well as a two-year-old and uh, we've been pleased with him all the way through. We won both of his uh, two-year-old races in good style and then we ran into a little hiccup and we were meant to run in the Jean-Luc Lagardère, the Grand Criterium in, uh, at Longchamp, but we were unable to run and then we were off and then of course along came Covid, so he's a horse, two runs, two wins maiden novice, didn't get into group company as a two-year-old through no fault of his own. Then Covid came and we were shut down, obviously, we know from March to middle of March to June the 1st. Well, once we started racing on June the 1st, we very quick out that Ascot was staying on its dates, it wasn't moving. We had to find a race as soon as we could. And luckily for us, there was a one-mile three-year-old race. And it's a lovely track, Newcastle, this straight mile, Bill's all a little uphill finish, good surface, and so this is the perfect race to run in. We can't, we can't go anywhere else, there are no greedums or anything like that. And so it was a very obvious race to, to, to run him in, to bring him on, uh, for, to, for obviously then to run at Ascot. A three-way go in the St. James's Palace, and Palace Pier is getting up in the last few strides. He's a horse, he's, uh, he's a very expressive horse, you just go along with him, and he's done just normal work, nothing nothing excessive in between times and uh, obviously he went from the Sandown Mile to the Lock Inch and now uh, all being well on to the Queen Anne so uh, it'll be slightly different conditions but uh, it was on the soft side at uh, Newbury and, and Sandown but he's uh, he's been happy and well so that's the main thing and he's a bigger stronger horse this year and uh, obviously the St James Palace last year he was impressive and uh, I, I, I think particularly in the Jacques Marwa in, in Deauville. The only blood is when we had that bottomless heavy ground in the autumn uh, at, and they were finishing strung out like three mile chasers in, on Champions Day. And all the old geldings were winning and loving that ground, but uh, he didn't. He found that pretty impossible. He pulled his shoe off, cut his leg and uh, got well back at the gate and was ten lengths adrift. He ran on well to be third, but it was one of those days that went wrong for him and it was very much down to the ground conditions. 257, the fine good looking Kingman cold now. Most of the tassels, he's obviously an attractive horse and it was in the book one and he was fairly early on in it. Great frame to him, I knew the family well, I trained the father. So John Godstrom, sir, thank you very much indeed. I actually brought him on spec um, early in the, in the session and fortunately Sheikh Mohammed when Rashid came into the ring and he said, what have you been doing, John? I said, well, I've just bought a horse I like a lot. What was it? And he looked and he said, OK, I'll take him. So it was, uh, I hadn't had instructions or anything of that nature, but I liked the horse a lot. And I thought if by the end of the sale I can't uh, find four partners for him, it would be a pretty sorry tale. But uh, he, was, he was sold on within uh, an, an hour of him being bought. But uh, look, he was a, a lovely horse, came off a good farm and... Uh, you know, and as I say, I did know the family on both sides, and that makes a big difference. He's got that acceleration that the Kingman had, phenomenal acceleration. If you ever want to watch an extraordinary race, watch the Sussex Stakes uh, with Kingman in it, where he, they actually had cantered, and usually it's Richard Hughes was setting it up, and then a dash for two furlongs. And of course, if you're two or three lengths behind then with that dash, they're going uh, 10 and change 11. There's the a furlong. There's it's very hard to get there, and he still he had the speed to get there. So like his like his father, he has that, you know, fantastic acceleration. The races are fairly well mapped out uh, at the mile. It's uh, the Sussex, and as we've already mentioned, the Jacques Marwa and the Queen Elizabeth the Second Stakes. Those are the, the three big male. You've got the Moulin as well, but I would rate those as the three big mile races to stay at. There may be the possibility of stepping him up in trip. I think he would be comfortable if one ever wanted to go a little bit further with him. But I feel in this game one step at a time.